Talk about the Tarrant County deputy who we mentioned who is part of what the sheriff is calling a miracle tonight. That deputy was shot three times while attempting to serve a warrant in Fort Worth today. Yeah, really a wild day for those officers. The incident evolved into a deadly standoff. And tonight, we're happy to tell you the deputy is home from the hospital. The suspect is dead. Marvin Hurst taking us through how all of this unfolded. Tarrant County investigators say a 40 year old man in Fort Worth did not want to surrender on three warrants connected to child sex crimes. So he and authorities exchanged gunfire on Eleanor Street. And we have a Tarrant County Sheriff's deputy who's been injured because of a violent, sick, twisted criminal. Someone who decided he wanted to try to take out some officers today. Investigators say he hit Tarrant County Deputy Todd Tipton three times. In the arm, lower abdomen, and gunfire grazed the deputy's head. I just thank God that uh, we were a quarter inch off of, uh, and that uh, he's going to be fine. Uh, you know, it's just miraculous. Just miraculous because it's pretty close combat as I understand it so far. The 13 year veteran taken to JPS. He was out of the hospital Wednesday evening. The sheriff relieved. He's a experienced fugitive officer and SWAT operator, and uh, he has performed magnificently. He has uh, been decorated and awarded, and uh, he's that quiet guy in the corner that just does his job every day and does it very well. Back on Eleanor Street, a two hour standoff escalating when the suspect claimed he had hostages, police said. This aerial view shows Fort Worth SWAT taking tactical steps to bring the barricaded man out of the house. He was dead. But what investigators don't know is if the suspect shot himself or if the authority shot him. That's what they have to figure out. There's a violent criminal who is actively trying to kill deputies and officers today who is no longer a threat. Now, we're very early on in this investigation. Martin Gomez, the suspect's neighbor of six years, says the man was known for saying he hated police. There's even a metal wreath on the suspect's door, which may validate that. And Gomez, who did not want to speak on camera, says the suspect's wife left him two weeks ago. Her children left the residence a year before that. Gomez says his neighbor started acting differently in the past two weeks. The man's identity has not been released as police continued their investigation into this deadly shooting. In Fort Worth, Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas.